Hey, this is Edgar with Engadget, and we just got done checking out DJI's new Spark drone. It's the company's smallest and lightest drone to date. The company says this drone is all about simplicity, and it wants to make it easy for you to just pick up and start flying right away. To do that, the company is letting you use gestures to control it. Using your palm, you can do things like move it up, down, left, or right, or move it away from you or towards you. One of the drawbacks to using gestures is that you can only control it up to 10 feet away from you. But in case you want to use it for longer distances, you can use a smartphone or a remote control. With the smartphone, you can have the Spark go up to 300 feet away from you, while the remote controller lets you take it for about 1.3 miles. If you want to use your gestures to control the drone, all you have to do is set it in the palm of your hand, press the power button for a couple of seconds, and then the drone will try to recognize a pilot, which in this case could be you, and then it starts flying on its own. Once the drone takes off and you're ready to take those insane over-the-top selfies, all you need to do is make a hand gesture and the drone will snap a photo or video. Once you move over to the smartphone app, the experience becomes a little better. DJI has created a few shooting modes like QuickShot, Drony, Circle, and Helix. QuickShot, for example, makes the Spark your personal camera operator. So if you tap on a subject, it follows them for about a minute and then trims that into a second clip you can then access that video from the app and then share it with your friends if you like. Drony, on the other hand, locks into a subject and then gives you a wide perspective of the environment. If you want to make some longer videos without much effort, you can go into the editor app and hit a create button that will compile a video from all the shots you've recently taken with the drone, using stock music and adding titles and transitions all on its own. That'll make you a 30 second clip within minutes. As far as specs go, the Spark features a 1 over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor, which should give you good light sensitivity and accurate colors. There's no 4K here unfortunately, but that's not a surprise given the drone's size. It can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second though. In terms of flight performance, the Spark can go up to 31 miles per hour, but that's only if you're using the remote controller in sports mode. There's a 16 minute flight time total according to DJI, which is more than your average drone. One of the best things about the Spark is that it charges via micro USB, which is a great thing, especially since this is supposed to be a portable drone. Of course, since this is a DGA drone after all, the Spark is loaded with a ton of sensors, which should make for some smooth flights. You'll find the GPS sensor, as well as a 3D sensing system that can detect objects up to 16 feet away from it. The vision positioning system, meanwhile, can sense environments from up to 96 feet away. Again, this should make for stable flights and consistent hovers both indoors and outdoors. The DJI Spark is available for pre-order today starting at $4.99 and you can get it in a bunch of different colors. If you want to spend a little more than $4.99, DJI will also be selling a $699 bundle that it's called Fly More, which includes a set of propellers, a charging box, and the optional remote controller. All in all, the Spark sounds like it has the potential to be a drone for the mainstream but we'll have to see how it performs when we check it out on our own before it ships in mid-June.